And moving on, the Washington Nationals take on the New York Mets, 7 10 p.m. East. The Nats are minus a buck and a quarter, totals eight and a half flat. The Mets are plus 105 for some money line cash. They're also minus 150 on the run line. Mats for the Mets, Corbin for the Nationals. The Nats are just two and three in their last five games where Corbin made the start. The Nationals are on a three game losing streak. And they scored just four total runs during that span. Washington's in the bottom three in run production, bottom three in offensive walks. They're taking on a New York squad who won three out of their last four, including an 8-4 to victory where they doubled up the Marlins. The Mets rank in the top five in hits, top five in striking batters out. And when it comes to the total in this one, four out of New York's last five ball games stayed under the total of eight and a half runs. The Nats on the other side saw seven out of their last nine stay under that number themselves. Give me the Mets plus 105, getting the job done for a little bit of plus money cash in the under eight and a half in that game. Next contest, the Rays take on the Red Sox, 7.30 p.m. Eastern first pitch. The Rays are the $1.43 favorite, totals 10 runs. Uh, The Red Sox are plus 120 to win it. Looks like we got Martin Perez for the Sox, Ryan Yarbrough for Tampa Bay. Now, Yarbrough... 